Hi guys, welcome back to Lennox Bendy channel as we're going to be looking at a circuitorium question. You guys go ahead and try. It says in the diagram below, E, C, G, and F are points on the circumference of a circle. E, G is the diameter of the circle. The tangent A, E, B is parallel to C, B, and angle A, E, C is equal to 68, and angle E, F, B equal 106. Determine the value of each of the following angles. Show a detailed working where necessary and give a reason to support your answer. So the first one they want us to do is ECD and give you a reason. Also, CEG and CGF. All right. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write those up here so we can just work on one page. So they want us to figure out this angle right here. And the next one was CGF, so CGF, which is this angle right here. All right, so let me just write the, these angles so we can just work in the little space and we don't have to go down. I'll give the reason as well. So it's A, what was the angle again? This angle here, we can call it G, E, C, R, C, E, G. So they call it CEG. So we could just do the same. So CEG. And then they want us to find CGF. And we must give reason. So we could reason it out. Guys, try it. And then let's see if you guys will be able to get the full marks. Then we can compare answers. Let's go. Let's go hit the like button. Happy Teachers Day to all the teachers. Yeah. Pick up everybody. Supporters, non supporters. Whoever you are, big up yourself. All right, much love from Mr. Benny. In the diagram below, E, C, G, and our points and the circumference of a circle. This is a diameter. So they told us that this is a diameter. And the tangent, A, E, B, so this is a tangent, is parallel to C, B. Very important, this line is parallel to this line. And the angle E, F, B is 106. Determine each of the following. So I'm going to look at ECB first, which is this angle right here. E. No, man, it's ECB. ECB is here. So they don't want this angle. They want this angle. All right, so ECB would be 68 degrees. Remember, the lines are parallel, right? So that form a Z angle. Are an alternate angle. So right here would be 68 as well. So that was pretty straightforward. No bugger workout. And that's alternate angle. Or sometimes we see Z angles. All right, so that one is done. Simple something, right? Let's move on to C, E, G. So they want us to find C, E, G. Where is C, E, G now? So we have C, E, G. Okay, which is this. So that's the one that I actually marked. So I was correct. So they want us to find this little space here. That should not be hard, right? Now this angle, is between the radii and the tangent. So this should give us 90 degrees. So if we already got 68, then all we have to do is to subtract 68 from 90 to give us that. So it's 90 minus 68. 8 from 0, I can't borrow 1 left 2. And 6 from 8, leave 2. So this angle should be 22. And the reason, let's give the reason now. Angle between radii and tangent measure 90 degrees. Angle between radii and tangent measure 90 degrees. Two E and one is why do you do that? 
All right, so that's that. Now the next one is CGF. Let's figure out CGF. So we have CGF, which is this angle right here. Now guys, if you look at it, two way you can look at it. This angle plus this angle should give you 180, right? Since they are, since, since it's an uh, parallel line. These are supplementary. So all we have to do to get right here is to do 180 minus 106. Two way you can get that, which gives us what 74. So here should be 74 degrees. Why I'm doing this? I'm trying to figure out this little piece here. Two way I could have figured it out. I could look at this, this 106. All of this is equal to 106 as well, right? Which form a Z angle. So all of this is 106 as well. So then 74 plus what you was 90, that's 16. So this angle here is 16. Why I'm trying to find this piece, I'm thinking if I get the 22 plus this, it would be equal to 180 minus 180. Take this from 180, right? Because this is a cyclic. So this angle plus this angle should give you 180 degrees. So we have 180 minus 22 plus the 16 which gives us 38 so that angle is equal to 180 minus 38 one two more over 40 so this is 142 and we can use the cyclic rule another way you could have get this 16 here 68 plus 22 that's 90 but everything should be 106. So it would be 90 plus 60 is to be 106. So CGF is equal to 142 degrees. And the angle, the reason rather, cyclic Opposite angles supplementary. All right, so that's that, that. And there we have it. We have completed the circle theorem part of this question. All right, guys, let's do the trigonometry part of it. It says, from a arbor H, the bearing of two ships Q and R are 0, 69 and 151 respectively. Q is 175 kilometers from H. Q is 175. So let me just put in that little information. 175 from H. Oh, they put in the 242, while R is 142 from 242, right? But they did give us a bearing of 69 and 151. So if we should met it, all of this should be 151. So we can figure out that little piece here by subtracting 69 from this, right? Supposed to be 151. So 9 from that, you can't. 9 from 11, you 2. 4 from that, you 8. So this portion should be 8. All right, so we have all the information because remember, all of this is supposed to be 151. It's a complete diagram above to show the information. Well, that was it. Yeah. Bam, bam. Put on a kilometer. So we automatically get a one mark already. We say calculate the QR. So the distance QR. So we want from Q to R, which is distance right here. Um, we could use the cosine rule since we have two known sides and an angle in between. So it would be 175 squared. I, I hate when they use these big numbers, you know, because I don't think that makes sense to me. Minus 242 squared 
minus 2 times 175 times 242. And of course, we know it's a cosine root, so cost the angle, which is 82. Let me just work it out. Uh, there's a lot of work, CXC. Why you do with that, CXC? Why you do with that? It's really a lot of work, right? All right, let me just go for my calculator. So 175 times 175, that gives us 30,000. 625. Do it in a calculator as well, guys. All right. Then we have 242 times 242, which is 58564. And then we're going to minus 2 times all of this now. So 2 times 175 times 242. Uh, give me 84,700. So I'm going to start freestyle it. So I need to multiply this. I need to add these two numbers, which is the 30,625 plus 58,564, which give me 89,189. Remember, cost 82. So, cost 82. I record to 0 0.13. So, I'm going to multiply this 0 0.139173. All right. So, we have to work out that part here in our bracket first, guys. So, I'm going to do that. So, I'm just going to times it. I'm just going to times this by the 84,000, so 84,700. Which gives me 11,787. So here, 9, 1, 8, 0, minus 11, 7, 8. Seven point nine six. Oh Lord, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. Some big number six put that area. So we have eighty nine thousand one eighty seven minus eleven seven eight seven point nine six. That give me seventy seven thousand. Yeah, seventy seven thousand three ninety two. And yeah, I'm gonna find your square book of this. So I'm clear and find the square root of seven seven. No, something off, man. What was this? Something is off. Did I multiply it by two? Short. Uh, what are they, guys? Something off. Man. All right, so I double check it's good. So it's 278. My calculator gives you. This work out to two seven eight. That's the length of two R. Oh, it's the nearest kilometer, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's go to the next part. So now, uh, 
and that was just three months. So calculate how far due south is ship R of harbor H. So they want the distance so 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 sorry yeah 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 all right so we're looking for this So this is from right hand the triangle. What we calculate? Ah, we need an angle here. So we can figure it out, right? This straight line is 180. So 180 minus 69 plus 82. Uh, 2911, 1814. It's only 14 That's 151. So this would be 29. Can't answer a call now. So this would be 29. It's too cloudy. Let me clear off some stuff. All right, so that's what you want to do. I need to do this. And I want this. So you have not so this was. All right, we'll clear up some stuff. Too much, too crowded. So, we want to find this distance here. So, this is our opposite. Hypotenuse and adjacent. So, we're looking for this. So, it would be adjacent hypotenuse. So, cos 29. Equal to adjacent to where I look for upon hypotenuse, which are 242. So we do the cross multiply thing, so it's adjacent side equal 242 times plus 29. Right, let me see where this work out to. Give me a second, guys. Uh... We're gonna level. Let me see if let me set to the nearest kilometer I want. Uh... Oh, yeah. So that will be two eleven. And there we have it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next week tomorrow, no doubt. All the best in the exam, guys. All the best in the exam. See you guys in another video.